Hey everyone, Dave with Freshwater Systems here. Just wanted to make a quick video. Today we are switching out one of the thermal expansion tanks here on our water heater loop. And we wanna make a quick video, kind of go over a little bit of do's and don'ts, ins and outs. So to start with anything water heater related, anytime electrical water, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're gonna to wanna to unplug, turn the breaker off, shut down anything. So we're gonna shut the breaker off to the water heater here. We're gonna go ahead and shut the cold feed down to this first step. Pull the breaker. Everybody's cold shut off will vary, but usually on a blue pipe or cold feed is gonna be showing coming into your cold side of your water heater feed. You're gonna to wanna to shut the cold feed off. We gotta have a gate valve, quarter turn ball valve like this should be some type of shutoff valve on the cold feed coming to the water heater. It's really just bleeding off the pressure of the hot water side. You can choose pretty much anywhere in your home. Open up the hot water from a tap, kitchen sink, got a hose bib, which is not hot, but we're gonna go ahead and bleed off the pressure. So we got our hot side open here. This may take a while. That depends on the total gallonage and capacity of your tank. And really as far as just you know what fixture you're running through how long it will take but again you want to depressurize run the hot water down so that you can work on the cold and hot plumbing without any water pressure all right everyone so we're back with the tank up here on we've got our three quarter inch fitting that was thread taped again you can use a little pipe dope not that that's necessary but three quarter inch female again our copper t setup here is very 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 common but depending on your space, where this is located in the home, if you had to have this at a parallel type of installation, or if this was being installed off of the cold line, not on the tank, just make sure you are securing, strapping any necessary piping. All right. We're gonna finish threading this guy in here. Got it started. Um, again, we've pre-charged the tank to our pressure. We've got everything thread taped up. Again, the water was shut off. Our electrical was killed to the tank. So everything is good to go. Just get this snug and hand tied around here. Really don't need any huge wrenching of tools, but you do have a nut right here. Any wrench, box wrench, adjustable wrench, you can get onto this tank here. So once you've got the tank reinstalled back onto the water heater or a new installation, however you're reconfiguring this, do once you've pressurized and turned the tank water cold feed back on that you do monitor this. You wanna make sure you don't have any leaks, anything like that. It's good after about 24 to 48 hours of you monitoring it. If you don't see any leaks, you're probably gonna be clear. So our last steps here, again, once we've got the tank on, we're gonna return the cold water back onto our tank to check for leaks and repressurize. Once we do that, we'll return the power back. So turn the cold water back on, everything's filling back up, tank being pressurized again. We're gonna go ahead and now turn the power back on again, just like our plumbing installed, which is to be you know, totally relative to how you laid it out, your electrical as well, whether you have a breaker panel, your on off, just regular switch, go into the main panel in the house to turn the breaker off. But once you got everything back up, check for leaks, water's to heaters got filled back up, cold water is back on. Go ahead and return the power. Again, commonly with water heater tanks, you're gonna find a 2.1 expansion tank is adequate. And I would say for most residential water heaters up to 80 gallons, that's your size, 2.1. There also is a 4.8 gallon tank. You can see in size comparison, quite different in size. If your water heater tank is larger than 80 gallons, you can go up to this size tank. Same three quarter inch male connection that we've done, just a larger capacity. All right, well that kind of wraps up our install here. Very basic, quick little you know, review and install. Now again, everything can vary upon your location, type of water heater, your plumbing, piping type, but Really just kind of that quick overview. Hope that helped you guys out with any water heater, tank expansion tanks, any questions you may have, just give us a call. We're happy to talk.